Hello and welcome to People's Voice, where true stories touch deep emotions. Today, we delve into, found out that wife is pregnant on wedding day. Come, let's explore these real life stories. When I met Chelsea, she had nothing, no job, and no family. Her family wasn't on speaking terms with her. She was broken, mentally and physically, as lifeless as a human can be. She was suffering from depression. Justin, her boyfriend of seven years, had ended their relationship. He promised the world to her, promised to marry her, and that they would build a future together. She dropped out of school to move with him to his new job, much to the chagrin of her family. Throughout their relationship, she was very abusive, and at the end, he broke her heart by getting married to his boss's daughter. Chelsea had their future laid out, they would get married, have kids, and live happily ever after. Now, he was gone, leaving her with tears and shattered dreams. That didn't stop her from loving him. Through the heartbreak, she was still hoping that one day Justin would do the right thing by returning back to her. While she waited for the return of Justin, I pursued her up and down, trying to win her over. She was a beautiful girl. How broken she was about the breakup spoke to how genuinely she loved, and I wanted that kind of love for myself. I knew I could make her forget him. I knew if I tried harder, her mind would change and say yes to me. It wasn't easy to get her to find my way. She never called me until I called her. It took me a year to get a call from her, but when she did, it was worth the wait. I remember how happy I was when I saw her call on my phone. She had never called me, so why was she calling me now? When I picked up, she said, I called you to check up on you. For her to call and check up on me gave me hope that finally, I was making inroads into her heart. Finally, reality had dawned on her that Justin wasn't coming back. She called because she had decided to pick up the pieces and move on with them. I was glad she thought of me when she thought of moving on. I asked Chelsea for a date on her birthday. After a little hesitation, she agreed. She agreed. When I saw her that night, I was awestruck. She was the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. I proposed to her, knowing this would be the first of many attempts until she agreed. To my optimal surprise, she said yes. No second guessing, no give me time to think about it, just yes. Our relationship had been pure bliss, and the three years we have been together have been my happiest. The plan was to get married to her this October. We were set to make a lifelong commitment to each other, and that made me very proud, looking at where it all started. I made sure not to spare a dime, just to ensure that we had the most memorable wedding. A few months ago, I noticed Chelsea was getting distant. I thought it was a phase that would end in no time, but it kept getting worse. She kept distancing herself from me and everything that was going on between us. I asked her if anything was wrong. She said, everything is fine. I'm only anxious about the marriage, that's all. When a woman doesn't need to say she's fine, being fine is not a word, it's something that ought to show in your attitude. She said she was fine, but I wasn't going to take it just like that, so I started to dig around. Her best friend was the only person I could turn to, to get information from. After pestering her for a while, she told me what the issue was about. She said Justin is back in the picture, they have been sneaking around for some time now. My heart skipped several beats. I didn't sleep on what her friend told me. I wanted to get the truth from Chelsea herself, so I asked her, Chelsea, I learned you are still seeing Justin. Is that the case? I'm not seeing him, she said. I went to talk to him because I needed closure on everything. Our meeting was only about that and nothing more. Nothing more? No, there could be something more. So I decided to look for the missing links to the whole story. I snooped through her phone one night and found a text between her and Justin. In one of the chats, they were talking about what to do with the pregnancy. There's a pregnancy involved. The discussions were sketchy, I didn't understand everything, so I went back to her best friend again. I knew I could get the information from her because that girl had expressed some sort of soft spot towards me. She confirmed Chelsea was a month pregnant with Justin's child. No words can express the shock I went through when I heard that. After all these years, how could she do this to me? I am hurt, angry, and disheartened. 
I am experiencing pain in places I didn't know existed. I haven't told her anything, nor have I asked any questions. I saved all the information I collected from her text message. She thinks I do not know about the pregnancy. She thinks of me as a fool, but even a fool has his day. I was planning on calling off the wedding at the very last hour. In one of the text messages, she expressed that the reason for getting married to me was to impress her family because they saw her as a disappointment. I felt like I was the sacrificial lamb. Something has to give, and I'm not going to play softball. My best friend suggested that I date her best friend to get back at her, but that would pale in comparison to what she had done to me. The crime does not fit the punishment. I wanted to hurt her in ways she couldn't easily recover from. The wedding was a few months away, so I decided that I would make a scene. I made sure to not invite anybody from my side of the family, just a few friends. Why? I made sure she invited all her family members and friends. The wedding was just three weeks away, and we wanted to have it as soon as possible before she got pregnant started to show. Weeks before the wedding, I asked my fiancé whether she invited Justin. She said no and was curious why I would ask her that question. I told her I wanted him to see her get married for my peace of mind because I wanted to show him that she's mine now. She was reluctant at first, but later accepted. I guess she was thinking that maybe she could get him jealous. I knew the reason she was going along with the marriage was that she wants someone to be the father of her unborn child. She wanted me to be there to hold their hands when she gave birth to another man's baby. She wanted to deceive me. On the day of the wedding, I was at the altar watching as her father walked her in. She was the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Looking at her father's face, I could see how proud he was. All her family and friends were there, some of my friends were there, but none of my family members were told about the wedding. I have managed to hide my wedding plans from them. It was difficult, but I had to do it because I didn't want them to witness what I was about to do. I made sure to look through the crowd to see who was there. It was perfect. Justin was there with his now wife, whom he left my fiancé for. It was hard for me not to keep staring in his direction. He was chatting with his wife as if he had done nothing wrong. He had impregnated the woman I love. I can't imagine how he could be so comfortable allowing another man to raise his own kid. The thought of that aggravated me the most. As my soon-to-be wife approached the altar with her father by her side, her pregnancy could be slightly visible through her wedding dress. She had tried to force it in, but it was obvious that she was pregnant. Weeks before, she broke the news to me that she was pregnant, and I pretended to be happy because she claimed it was mine. When I saw her walking towards the altar, I couldn't help but shed tears of pain at the sight of her pregnancy. It was as if I was seeing it for the first time. The emotions that I've held for so long came out with vengeance. I was inconsolable. My heart broke for what I was about to do. People might see it as cruel. It will be all over the gossip column in the newspaper in town, but a man can only take so much. She owes me a debt, and it has to be paid accordingly. She approached me at the altar and wiped the tears off my eyes. The crowd was in awe, observing our chemistry, not knowing what was about to go down. My friend, who was my best man at the wedding, helped me set up an overhead projector in such a way that all the guests would see the projector screen. We set it up two nights before the wedding. What I was about to do was planned months ago when I opted to perform the ceremony in a party hall instead of a church. My soon-to-be wife fought me about it but gave up when I insisted. I wanted to be able to be in control of the environment. When it came time to exchange vows, it's tradition for the man to go first. When the priest asked, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy matrimony, to love her, to honor her, to comfort her, and to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, for as long as you both shall live? I loudly said, I don't. I could hear the gasp in the crowd. The priest wanted me to repeat what I just said, as if he didn't hear me the first time. My soon-to-be wife's eyes were wide open, staring at me as if her eyes were about to fall out of their sockets. I could hear a pin drop in between gasps. The silence was broken by the sound of the overhead projector screen being rolled down by my best friend, my best man. He was about to give everyone a presentation of her text conversation with her ex-boyfriend Justin, the real father of her baby. 
As my best friend described my wayward wife's infidelity, she looked confused. I was so ashamed to look in her eyes. I was so embarrassed. I couldn't have pulled this off without my best friend. I think he enjoyed exposing her. I didn't wait for the end of the presentation. I couldn't bear it any longer. I walked down the altar and out of the hall as everyone watched me. I could see everyone's jaw literally on the floor. My wayward fiancé was on her knees crying when I left the hall. On her knees, where she belongs. She is a failure and a disappointment, and that is where she belongs. I am glad to announce that while I was outside the hall, Justin's wife came storming outside, heading to their car, while he chased behind her begging her to stop. I have destroyed the relationship between Chelsea and her family and Justin with his wife. I believe they deserve it, but deep inside, I don't feel any better. If you love this story and crave more tales of love, betrayal, and healing, don't forget to subscribe for more from Cheating Stories.